What's up guys, we got a solo edition of Motown Mail, just me. It means it's a Com C Mail Day, Com C, and I decided to, to bundle it with my uh, TTM in person autograph drafts, just because there's so much here and I just like to fly through it as quick as possible. Uh, let's do the Com C stuff first. Uh, I didn't really put these in any order. Probably should have, but I didn't. So first off, I got a really good price on this. Um, should probably put this in, in a, uh, a magnetic. Let me take it out of here just because there's some scratches on the uh, top loader. Uh, uh, I was going to say on card, it's not on card though. Uh, Donruss Panini Elite Gold Status Rookie Auto of Travis Kelsey, number to 49. Really nice looking card there. I, th I got that for maybe half what it should have went for. First Travis Kelsey, so pretty excited about that. <clears throat> Next, I got uh, Matt Millen, saw a 30 for 30 documentary. Didn't think I had his autograph, but I ended up already having it, but I bought this on the cheap uh, Pro Set card, and it comes with JSA authentication on the back with a little sticker. Uh, I got Esteban Loiza, who's going to be spending a lot of time behind bars now for uh, drug crimes. Uh, underrated pitcher for the Pirates, Trevor Williams, on card autograph from his uh, USA Baseball days. Tim Anderson. White Sox shortstop having a tremendous year. One of the best bat flippers in the game. Uh, new Bears running back, like backup, change of pace guy, Mike Davis. Got that cheap from Definitive. Uh, Tomas Satoransky, who was on my uh, fantasy team for a little bit this year. He's uh, John Wall's backup point guard in Washington. I got a really good price on this. Really excited about this one. Um, Metal Arc Lemon. Got it for 10 bucks, and uh, at the time, the only sold listing was like 50. I think they're down to like 30-ish now. Uh, but Golden Age on-card autograph of one of the best and probably the most well-known Globetrotter of all time, Metal Luck Lemon, who's no longer with us. Um, I think this guy's going to be really good, and I loaded up on his stuff because it's cheap. Uh, he's with Memphis now, and if Mike Conley goes elsewhere, I think he's going to have a tremendous uh, season. Uh the lone right. I got this one from Treasures. I got two of these, number to 99. Got this nice immaculate gold into 25. And since he's no longer with the Raptors, I kind of like to pick up the college stuff. Got that one. And the lone Raptors one I did get was a select one, which I got for like, like I think it was less than $2. So, uh, nice Neil Smith card from Elements. The Steelts. Pretty sweet looking card, number to 199. I think this guy's gonna have a good season. This is another card I should have put in a mag, but I didn't for some reason. But it will after this video. Uh, on card rookie auto with Apache Never War, <coughs> uh, number to just five from Immaculate Dante Pettis. Check out that patch. It's from the Fiesta Bowl. But pretty sweet card there again, number just to five. Uh, pretty pumped about this. Um, Don Shula signed a business card from when he was actually head coach of the Miami Dolphins. I bought this just because of the picture. Uh, I actually, I, as bad as it sounds, being a diehard Cubs fan, I like to go to the Miller Park more than I do uh, Wrigley, just f based strictly on the ballpark experience. It's such a nice ballpark. So this picture on this card... Reminds me of going there. So it's Keon Broxton, the on-card autograph from Stadium Club, and just a picture of Miller Park, kind of kind of, kind of a cool angle right there, so I picked that up. It's with the Mets now, I think. Uh, Artis Gilmore, Hair Hall of Famer, Basketball Hall of Famer. On-card of one of the best froze of all time. Larry Johnson for Penn State Nittany Lion, former uh, fantasy superstar. Musin Muhammad. Yeah, one of his very few Bears certified autos. Got Willis Reed on card auto number to 49. There's like a small indentation on the surface that was listed. So I got that really cheap. I mean, you can't even really tell unless you're holding it at a certain angle. So pretty excited about that one. Uh, new Bears safety, haha -ha Clinton Dix. Nice on card autograph um, from his Bama days. That's uh, number to 99. Roquan Smith. Not a huge fan of the Leaf football just because it's unlicensed but I got that really cheap it's kind of a cool looking card still on card auto too Phil Bickford I got this for a buck he was a top prospect and he's kind of 
not kind of, he's fallen off the map. He's in the Brewers organization now, but kind of a cool card from his Cal State Fullerton days. Got it for a dollar. Uh, Cam Ward, hockey goaltender on card auto from Champs. Josh Reynolds, on card rookie bronze auto from Optic. Got a pair of Mike Clevengers, who's on my fantasy team, who's hopefully coming back pretty soon. Had a back strain that's been on for like two months now. Daniel Mengden, uh, one of the best stashes in the game. That's honestly probably the reason I bought the card, because if he didn't have the stash, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Uh, Rusty Wallace, NASCAR Hall of Famer on card auto. Buster Screen, new bear. Joe Musgrove, kind of a cool photo there. I love Stadium Club uh, autos, just cool photography. Uh, Will Benson, uh, Indians prospect, Blue Aspirations, number to 50. I thought this guy was going to have a real good season this year. He's let me down. Uh, I'll take it out of here. And um, I got it really cheap. It said it had like a surface scratches. Uh, they're very, they're, they're, they're better than I thought it was going to be. They're, they're not too bad. It's like one, two scratches possibly. But it's like the Red Shimmer Farms Finest, number to just five. So, knuckle sandwich right there. Uh, number to five, Jose Peraza. I don't know if I mentioned who it was. Um, but he's with the Reds now. Um, started off horribly. I think he's doing a little bit better now, or he was for a little bit. Maybe he's tapered off again. But um, You guys know I'm a huge Seinfeld fan, so I got an autograph of Jay Peterman, John O'Hurley from his uh, Don Russ, or I'm sorry, Playoff Honors fans of the game. Uh, new Bear Cordero Patterson from his Tennessee days. Got that cheap. Matt Strom, one of my fantasy baseball pit or fantasy pitchers, uh, got blown up by the uh, Marlins. Actually, I'm not even know. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this. So he got blown up by the Marlins yesterday. Let me post this like in a couple weeks because I just posted a couple of uh, other mail days. But uh, Jimmy Ward, for uh, fellow NIU alum from Limited, number to 25 of 25. It's a nice red numbered uh, 40 of 60. Got those cheap. Another NIU alum, Larry English, numbered to just 24. Nice Huskies uniform there. Cattell Marte, who's doing really well this year. He's got like 14 bombs as of this video. He's one of my utility players. And when uh, Trey Turner went out with his thumb injury, this guy, I picked him up and he's, a, he's been a staple on my team ever since. Uh, Chandler Jones, rookie auto from Magic. Chris Betts, auto to number uh, 10, blue prismatic. Sixto Sanchez, who I think is with the Marlins now. Really good pitching prospect. Tyler Boyd, on card, rookie auto from Preferred, number to 49. Jonathan Isaac, oh, he signs it Judah, rookie autos with the Magic. And lastly, uh, he's on the practice squad last year. Maybe, maybe he'll be on the main roster. I'm not sure. Javon Wims got that like for a little over a buck. So. That's it for Com C. Now moving on to the uh, autograph drafts. Uh, first was a either deceased or Tuffy. When Tuffy's uh, defined as someone that signs like less than 70 or 60 percent of the mail. I can't remember. It's been a while since I did the draft. But first overall pick was deceased um, Cincinnati Reg, Cincinnati Red, uh, Chuck Herman, on 54 archives. Second round pick was Bob Feller. Had enough autographs of him, but pretty good value pick. One of the best pitchers of all time. Uh, Leroy Stanton. John Kennedy. Former Red Sox, not the former president. Uh, Wild Thing, Mitch Williams. Kind of a cool card there. Uh, deceased catcher, Darren Dalton. Mickey Rivers, who charges like five bucks or ten bucks a signature. Got that in the draft. Dale Barra, son of Yogi. Didn't have an autograph of him yet. Uh, and then some other guys that you guys don't care about, probably not even a waste of time. So that's it for that draft. Next was a free for all, I think, and you had to submit like at least one deceased, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, first of all, our pick, Kenny Smith. Pretty cool card there from his UNC days. Next was deceased golfer Hubert Green. Bill Fitch, who's actually now a Hall of Famer, he just got inducted in the Basketball Hall of Famer, is going to be. Got that before the announcement, so that's kind of cool for Bill Fitch Auto. Uh, former, uh, sorry, deceased uh, brewer Mike Hegan. From Jim Fergosi. Mark Eaton. I wish I remembered what the parameters of this draft were. I want to say it was a free-for-all, but maybe not. Ryan Longwell. Bill Maz. Some other guys. Terry Labonte. 
I'm not going to show all of them because uh, it's not worth the time. Yeah, it's, I think that's about it for that draft. Let's see here. Yeah, that's it for that one. No big names. Uh, next was a Hall of Fame slash... You know what? This was the free-for-all. I'm not sure what the other one was. No, I think they were both free-for-all, which means anything. And then you had to like, submit like one Hall of Fame or one to see. So this is like part two of that. So I did two submissions. Uh, my first overall pick was uh, deceased Hockey Hall of Famer Milt Schmidt, who I didn't have an autograph of. Charlie O'Brien. Bob Murray. Peter Mrazek, who's uh, with the Carolina Hurricanes now. Their goaltender. I think this is a pretty decent card that you unsigned this uh Red Pulsar Refractor rookie from his uh, Red Wings days. I think it's a pretty decent card. Bob Nystrom, uh, Jeff Bannister, and then it kind of tails off there. We got a Brent Berry. Remember when he dumped from the free throw line? Sir, we got Scott Skiles, um, Steve Stenstrom, Lanny Watkins. I don't think it's uh, Max. If you're still watching. Got Nate Sheerholtz. Uh, let's see, Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell's having a pretty decent year. I think he was at least. And a lot of guys, I don't even know who they are because I just didn't have an autograph. And at that point, it's like, yeah. That's it. So instead of wasting another 10 minutes going through names nobody's heard of, I'm not going to do it. So that's all I got for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please, please stay safe.